It is the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. Every year in the middle of Advent, as we prepare for the birthday of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we celebrate a great Marian Solemnity, and it is called the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. This is one of the four Marian dogmas. There are four Marian dogmas. The Immaculate Conception, the Divine Maternity of Mary, the Perpetual Virginity, and the Assumption of Mary into Heaven, Body and Soul. The dogma of the Immaculate Conception was proclaimed by Pope Pius IX in the year 1854. And this is the meaning of the Immaculate Conception. It's related to original sin and to our redemption. Adam and Eve committed what we call original sin. It was the first sin of our first parents. And as a result of original sin, all of us come into the world with the stain of original sin. The stain of the original sin is removed through the sacrament of baptism. However, our nature is somewhat impaired. We have this tendency toward evil which is called concupiscence. And it's manifested by these tendencies within us which we call the capital sins, which would be gluttony, lust, greed, sloth, anger, envy, and pride. These are called the capital sins. All of us at the moment of our conception are, are conceived in original sin. However, God, in His infinite mercy and providence, decided to <coughs> work a miracle in the person of Mary. In the, in the moment of her conception, she was preserved from the taint or the stain of original sin. St. Thomas Aquinas says this, is, this was very convenient and logical because if Jesus were to come into the world and assume a, hum a human nature, if his mother were tainted with original sin, then the human nature of Christ would also be tainted by the stain of original sin. So Aquinas says a very appropriate and logical that the Immaculate Conception become a reality for the sinless nature of Christ's humanity itself. How can we honor the Immaculate Conception? Well, by calling upon Mary, and this is a beautiful prayer that we can say often, to honor the Immaculate Conception. And it is, O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to Thee. And one of the fruits of original sin, of the Immaculate Conception, if we really pray over this, is that Mary will help us to live a more sinless life. Mary will help us to love God more and more. Never was there a moment in the life of Mary where she denied God anything. She is the full of grace. She was Mary, God's masterpiece of creation. So let's turn today to the Mac Conception and beg Mary for the grace to really love her. And by loving her, we'll love the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.